explore what does uh, Prince to themes mean and why themes are important and why these are matter and what are the seven Prince to themes and how can we identify each theme? What is the question? That means while exploring the themes, we know that Prince to themes describe the aspect of the project management, which needs to be addressed continuously as the project progresses through the life cycle. For example, the business justification has to be updated and revalidated throughout the project life cycle. Change will take place and risk will need to be implemented or managed. However, the strength of Prince 2 is the way which in which the seven themes are integrated. And this is achieved because the specific Prince 2 treatment of each theme can be linked together effectively. If we see this diagram, which is we follow the Prince 2 guideline, uh, each of the chapter gradually we will explore what does each of the theme means. First theme, uh, the first the seven Prince 2 themes. The first is the business case, which is very important. Uh, the answer, the question, if you see that, why? So when you begin the project, when you justify the project, it is considered at the potential value for the organization concerned. This theme addresses how the idea is developed to a viable investment proposition for the organization and how project man management maintains the focus for the organization's objectives throughout the projects. So that's why very, very important why and why you uh, implement this idea. So this theme is very important. Next theme is organization theme. That means who answers so this question, who are the responsible? That means the organization chartering the project needs to allocate the work to the managers who will be responsible for it and instead to the completion. Project teams are cross-functional. That means uh, the supply and other organization can be worked uh, parallelly for the organization. Therefore, the normal organization structure that are external to the project team may not apply. This theme describes the roles and responsibility of the temporary Prince to project management team required to manage the project effectively. Next theme is very important, quality theme. And then the question is what? That means the initial idea will be considered as a broad outline. This theme explains how the outline is developed so that the, all the participants understand the quality attribute to the product to be delivered, and then how project management will ensure that the requirements are subsequently required, uh, delivered. Next uh, theme is very important, plans. And what are the question we explore? How, how much, when? Prince 2 projects proceed on the basis of series of approved plans. So this theme complements the quality theme by describing the, whether you have to develop the plans and what are the techniques you should be applied. So Prince 2, the plans are matched to the needs of the people at the various levels of the nation. So this question we need to address in the plan theme. The next important thing, very important thing, that means risk. That means it concerns about any uncertainty. And that's why the question comes, what if? That means you have managers how you address the uncertainty in the project management. So that that is covered under the risk theme. Then another important theme is the change theme. Uh, that is what is the impact? That means this theme in, in describes how the project manager assesses and acts upon issue which have a potential impact on any of the design aspects of the project. So and uh, last uh, theme that is very important, uh, another important theme that is progress. That means where are we now? Where the question we need to address? Where are we going? Should we carry on? So this theme address the ongoing viability of the plans. Uh, this theme explains the decision making process for approving the plan. The monitoring of actual performance and the escalation process if they even do not go according to the plan. Ultimately, the progress theme determines whether and how the project should proceed. So we just uh, go through what are the th themes we address and next important part is the tailoring part. That means based on the organization, how can you tailor the themes? Uh, this discussion. That means how the themes are applied can be influenced by the tailoring and all the seven themes might be applied to the projects, but they should be tailored according to the risk, scale, nature and the complexity or simplicity of the project concern. So tailored Prince, a tailored Prince theme should reflect any tailoring of the process and terminology. 
and Prince to itself, in most cases, the themes are implemented through the project's risk, change, quality, control, and communication management approach. So this should contain procedures about regarding how the themes are implemented in practice for that particular project. And many of the themes imply that procedures may need to be developed. Prince to does not uh, prescribe how this should be documented or published. So in this short session, we covered so what is the key message here? The tailoring allows the PINS2 themes to be adapted to create appropriate procedure and controls so that PINS2 principle are upheld. The minimum requirement in each theme are satisfied. The purpose of each theme is, no, is not compromised. So overall, we discussed in this uh, session for the question of the each of the theme, um, how each theme is important for the PINS2 process. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, 